Well, glad y'all here today at the Rusty Glove Box. And what we're going to do today, we're going to start on the uh, hit and miss air compressor engine. Uh, going to do primarily uh, the tear down. Going to get started a little bit, maybe on the fuel system. Uh, but mainly, uh, there's going to be a lot of inspection going on here today. So uh, let's get started. Well, we were going to start tearing this thing down, and I really don't know the last time that it's run. I'm going to get the head off, and uh, everybody that I had seen that had made one of these, they had built a spacer in between here. I've got a piece of aluminum I'm going to, I'm going to build one out of. I th it's a little thick, so I'm going to machine it down some. What I'm going to use for timing gears is uh, VW distributor drives, the uh, gear off the uh, crankshaft, and then the uh, distributor drive gear. Those are fairly easy to come by. Just had four bolts holding that on. Okay. Bring y'all in and show you this. Yeah, it's a little rusty, but uh, I don't think it's really that bad. It looks a lot worse than it is. And I think without too much trouble, I can probably smooth that back out. If, if you'll notice, the uh, exhaust port and, and the intake port are cast in the uh, cylinder. So when I make my spacer block, I'm going to have to put those ports in there also. Be interesting. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to use that vacuum to get that out. Fun looking pipe wrench, isn't it? It's a good one. Well, what I was going to get started on doing is kind of fabricating my intake, and I was going to use this uh, copper and brass plumbing parts. I need about a four inch piece of tubing there. And I've got one of these quarter turn valves that I was going to reuse it. Uh, to make uh, my mixer valve for my intake. Uh, it's got a pretty small hole here for like a Ventura and I can take the guts out of this thing and put my needle valve, my mixer, in there and then it's half inch pipe and it'll screw on the copper. I was going to start by cleaning some of this uh, copper and brass here so I could sweat it together. Well, I couldn't find any of that rigid copper, but I have some of this soft copper and I'm going to, I'm going to use it. And this may really work better for what I'm trying to do with it. Well, what I got my fittings all clean well I'll put this solder paste on everything
Well, I got those all cleaned up and everything, and uh, so now we're going to give these a shot. that cool. Well I had already kind of gotten started on it and uh, I'm going to see how hard it is to drill that center out which didn't seem like it's very hard. This is all brass and what I can do is slide my needle valve in there and uh, possibly solder it in or thread it in or something but uh, if I need a larger throat I'll just drill that hole out a little bigger so uh, but I'm I'm thinking that's pretty close right there well here on the uh, manifold side of this fitting I'm gonna drill that out because it's the same about like a 3 8 diameter on this side so if I drill it out it'll be the same diameter as the half inch tube. Well what I'm going to do I'm going to get a little uh, 1 8 90 put in here. Under here this this cavity is open and I'm going to make that into the gas tank uh, but I've got to get the fuel out and I'm going to put a little uh, check valve in here. Drill it with a 5 16 and uh, and tap it. Now I've got that thing started and we're going to cut some threads. You want to go deep enough that you can get your fitting started, but you don't want to go too deep that uh, your fitting bottoms out. Because this is a uh, one-eighth pipe and that's tapered threads. Well, what I had kind of figured on doing, I was going to go ahead and split it apart because I wanted to see what it looked like on the inside too. Before I just got just real carried away doing everything. But anyway, Ah. Get a load of this. Full of water. I never would have guessed. But anyway, that's not too scary. Well, what I'd done, I've flipped the crankshaft up and it's got these Babbitt looks like Babbitt style bearings in there. I'm thinking if I can uh, go ahead and get the crankshaft out then uh, might be easier to get that rod out of there and I need to do a bunch of cleaning inside there so let me get this out and uh, we'll see what we got. Well, got that rod cap off and that crank come out pretty easy. I, I don't think the cranks hurt really. Something interesting is going to be how to get that unstuck, but. I feel pretty confident that we can get her going. Well, we're going to call this the end of part one uh, of the hit and miss air compressor engine. Uh, on the teardown and uh, the intake build and all that, uh, really didn't see any big problems. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to get that piston unstuck, but uh, crank's in good shape, all that. So. Uh, be waiting for my other parts to come in and uh, we'll get going a little further. Be sure and watch part two. This rusty glove box and I'm out of here.